Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about why there is so many web developers using Macs. Okay, so first of all, when we are starting now, I want just to say that I'm not an Apple fanboy or anything and I'm not going to be defending like Macs or Windows because I, I have them both. As you can see, I have like my Windows desktop in here. I have in here a MacBook Pro 2017. Uh, this was a MacBook Pro 2010. Um, but yeah, I've been using both and I'm just going to tell you now my opinion why there is like so many developers using it. And uh, let's start with the, with the one that is like really obvious is that uh, uh, Macs, they are like based upon uh, uh, Unix. They use Unix, which is like a variation of Linux. Uh, that's why all of these guys in the, they're studying like computer science or something, they like to use uh, Macs. That's because when they are programming for some kind of web servers, database servers or everything, uh, all these terminals that they're using there are based on uh, Unix as well, okay? And this is something that the, the Macs, they, they are using as well, Unix. And uh, on Windows, the terminal of the Windows is completely different, okay? So it makes sense like for people who are coding or programming in, in Unix, for example, in their own environment, in their own Macs, to be doing the same on the web servers and the same on their own um, computer. Uh, because if you are doing something completely different on, on Windows and then you have to program, uh, again, something different for the database servers, web servers or whatever, it doesn't make sense. So this is one of them like for the hardcore uh, uh, developers. Then there is another reason that is uh, even those like uh, uh, developers or designers or something that uh, they may like Linux because you heard there is a lot of programmers that uh, instead of using just like Windows they prefer to use just like Linux okay um, but for example there is a lot of software out there that is still not available for uh, Linux and for example, I'm going to give you just one example. One of them is just like, for example, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, there's like many of, uh, other tools like these that are not available for Linux. And because of that, people, they just like prefer to go and use Macs because Macs, they, they have all this kind of software available for them to, um, to use for their work or uh, for school or anything. So yeah, this is this is another reason. Um, I would say another reason why there is like so many developers using Macs is is just like a, a really great investment. Because I'm just gonna explain you now why that why it is such a great investment. Because for example, if you are gonna buy a Windows laptop, let's say now their value depreciates so much, so much like so quickly. For example, if you buy it now for a thousand dollars, let's say, next year maybe you can sell it for 500 or whatever. But if you buy a Mac, most likely, for example, I am before uh, we just bought this MacBook Pro now, uh, this is like the 2017 model. Uh, we were looking at models like from 2012 or uh, 2015 um, and these models they still keep their value so much so for example we got we got this 2017 MacBook Pro uh, I think it costs like fifteen hundred dollars or something like this um, if I'm gonna sell it, for example, in uh, in two years, in two years or something, I'm still gonna get a lot of money back, and I can and I can still like buy another one. This happens the same, for example, with iPhones. Uh, I don't have an iPhone, for, uh, but uh, I can see there is a lot of people who buy iPhones, and after like two years or something, they want to sell them. To, to buy another model or something and they can still keep a lot of their money. So that's why it's such a great investment to, um, to buy them. 
and uh, it's not just these it's just like if you if you really feel it if you if you buy one of these or you just like go and try in the apple store it really feels like premium it's well built uh, great sound the screen is amazing this kind of uh, retina screen uh, <laughs> it's so so um light I mean, there is there's like so many reasons. This is just like some of them, and of course, of course, I I also think they are a little bit um, uh, overpriced. I, I I admit, I I think in my my own opinion, but uh, um, <laughs> it, it's like this: you have to pay for for good things. You have to pay a little extra money, and just like I mentioned, after one two years, if you want to sell these kind of machines. You can still keep a lot of the money that you invested. <laughs> so uh, uh, I think that uh, maybe like the last reason is just like uh, it's really trendy nowadays to, to have uh, a Mac. It's not just like trendy, it's just like it, it looks great and it feels great when you are working with it. Uh, they, they just like they just have like great products. If you're gonna if you're gonna run, uh, this is another reason I forgot to mention is uh, there is a lot of uh, software out there, for example, that uh, on Windows, on Windows, if you try to install something that it was from like the Windows XP or the Windows uh, uh, Vista or whatever, and then you're gonna try to install it now in this latest Windows, uh, Windows 10. Um, Sometimes it gives you a lot of problems with compatibility and all these kind of things and when you are doing these on on the Max Basically, you can just install one thing and it's gonna run straight away It's not gonna have like any kind of compatibility issues or anything. So this is this, this is eliminates another problem You have something to put on the Mac. You just install it and that's it. You don't have any problems Um. And I, uh, there is also another thing that I kind of notice. Uh, I don't know if you guys do this a lot, but for example, I put my desktop quite a lot of times to um, just to sleep. I don't turn it off. And I notice that after a while, let's say after a week that I didn't turn it off, I just put it to sleep or something. Um, the environment just starts to get slow and slow and slow. It's like kind of a garbage collector or something that is going on there. Um, and it, it gets it gets slower, so you need like to restart the machine. And with with Max, I think that you can keep it uh, just like for a long time without um, without actually just uh, turning it off. And it just like runs fast, fast, fast all the time. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is just like my opinion. I think there is a lot of developers that they think the same. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's it. I basically I'm just like uh, summarizing all all the great um, great points that makes makes you want to buy or or why there is like so many developers using this kind of uh, marks. If if you think that uh, you have uh, some kind of other points that you think that you can add, or if I'm wrong on anything that I'm saying, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm always open to discussion, and I, I never say that I'm like always completely right or anything. So uh, yeah, um, so yeah, this is usually just before I finish. Usually I I I do my kind of. Um, development in here on my on my desktop just if i have to go on on the go somewhere that i need to code somewhere or if i want to code on, on in my living room or i'm gonna travel then i'm gonna use my my uh, macbook pro uh, because it's just like so easy to carry it around but uh, that's it that's it basically guys <laughs> i hope you like this video if you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if this is your first video and I'll see you in the next one.